Senator Kelly Ayotte has not had a good time of it ever since she decided to vote against the extremely popular background checks bill. Now, it wasn't popular in the Senate, you should take note. It did fail. Uh, but of course, the polls, as we've gone over on the last episode of this show, uh, it's immensely popular among Democrats, Republicans, Independents. So she's had a bad time, and she needs some support. So an ad was run by a group called the American Future Fund that was aiming to do just that. Let's watch. Those commercials from out-of-state groups attacking Kelly Ayotte are flat-out wrong. Those attack commercials are partisan and deliberately misleading. I know they're distorting her record. When it comes to preventing gun violence, Kelly voted for what works, fixing background checks and strengthening mental health screenings. Kelly Ayotte has worked closely with New Hampshire law enforcement to put violent criminals behind bars. Kelly has the courage and independence to stand up and do what's right for New Hampshire. She's helped make our community safer. What most of us here in New Hampshire support are common-sense gun reforms, and that's what Kelly voted for. Now, it might seem at casual first glance, there's nothing wrong with that group. You should take note, of course, that Kelly Ayotte's campaign did not run that. It was this American Future Fund, a conservative group that's trying to give her some support. Obviously, they agree with her on these gun control issues. But there is something hiding underneath the surface of that ad. Uh, it was one of those of the style that's become very popular lately because of Barack Obama's success in using average Americans to get a message across. You saw there a couple of real Americans, average New Hampshire moms and things like that that support Kelly Ayotte's positions. Of course, when you uh, look into it, they're not average Americans. They're extremely connected, long-term, loyal Republicans you might not be surprised to find out that, but let's break down the connections a few times so you don't think that I'm exaggerating. First woman we're going to talk about that was in the ad was Jane Millerick. Now, she's billed as a New Hampshire mom, uh, but she's actually had quite a history in politics, you might be surprised to find out. She was a Republican strategist who served as chairman of the New Hampshire Republican State Committee, a New Hampshire Republican delegate back in 2008, and was a member of New Hampshire Women for Mitt Coalition in 2012. Um, how she moved past politics? No, she's actually serving right now as a professional political consultant and sometimes part-time actor, I guess, in political campaign commercials. Judy Brown, another woman labeled in that video as a New Hampshire mom who you can trust. Um, she served alongside Miller, by the way, the last woman, in the Romney campaign, volunteered for IOT's campaign back in 2010, and just this year was named as the Nashua City Republican of the Year. So. Uh, she's not just an average American. She's not just an average Republican. She's Republican of the Year, at least in New Hampshire. Um, there's another couple of individuals who are mentioned there. Uh, some of them are labeled just as law enforcement officials. Uh, they've previously, by the way, those particular law enforcement officials have come out in support of IOP and are featured on her Facebook page. Now look. Uh, this is not something that just Kelly Ayotte's supporters do. Both Democrats and Republicans occasionally try to sneak in somebody to support them. I think McConnell had that recently. Oh, actually, uh, Todd Aiken uh, did that. Some of the women for Aiken. Uh, it was like people working on his campaign. It's laughable. And I, I like that the information came, about, came out about them because this isn't an issue that we often get to laugh about. Um, but the interesting thing, the, the weird twist on reality here is that the purpose of this video is to show what the average person in this country thinks about background checks. This is not the right way to measure that. We do actually have ways to measure that, and they're called public opinion polls. And as we've previously discussed on this show, they show that people are very much in support of the background checks. Uh, so this is, this is ridiculous. It's laughable. It's actually kind of pathetic that they couldn't actually find a few regular Republican women to be in this ad. And, uh, what I want to talk about now is partially because of the trouble that senators like Kelly Ayotte have had since their vote and their, their lowering public approval ratings, uh, which is seen as a direct result of that vote, is that there might actually be a future now for the background check. Senator Harry Reid is saying that we might have a few more votes on it, which is great. And I, and I hope that it comes up and I hope that it passes. It'll show the effect that average Americans actually have on politics. Um, because they don't support what the politicians did in this case. But let's put this quickly in perspective uh, at the risk of belaboring this entire point. In the wake of Sandy Hook, we saw a possible silver lining in that despite this horrible tragedy and the lives lost, there might be some substantive legislation to, to do something, anything, whatever we can do to make tragedies like this less likely um, to happen in the future. And uh, gradually, what we were going to do was chipped away and like forget the assault weapons ban and forget the bans on high capacity magazines and forget all that. Maybe we can get the background checks. That failed. Now it's coming back and we're supposed to be happy 
as if that was like the grand goal that we've had this entire year was to get background checks, uh, to get a slight expansion of background checks, make them a little bit easier to check into uh, in a couple of areas like the online sales and the the person to person transfer of guns and things like that. But that's not what we were looking for here. And I think that when you look at it in perspective, when you look at what we originally wanted and what we're getting now after the like just the beating that these Republicans and some Democratic senators have gotten, I, I think that it's actually pretty weak. And, and I suppose that uh, Kelly Ayotte's doing better off than she should be uh, if the people actually had their way.